In this video, I will show you how to add a shadow in Canva. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping a like below the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so you can see I'm currently on canva.com. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to type in thumbnail. The steps are the same, so it doesn't matter what kind of thing you're creating, whether you're doing like a thumbnail or a banner or anything like that. I'm literally just going to set up a blank template so I can show you exactly what to do to add shadows. So here we are, I've got my template ready to go and what I'm going to do is come over to the left hand side and I'm just going to add like a person or something to this. So you can do this with any sort of image as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for something like people um, and let's go on to photos. Okay, so this is one I'm going to use as an example. So what I'm going to do is click on to edit photo. Now at the moment, Canva's actually updated their photo editor and to actually access the shadows to do it the easy way, what you want to do is revert back to the old video editor. So you can do that just simply by clicking this link here and then clicking revert to the old editor. Please note if you have made any changes using the new style editor that you will lose them when you revert back to the old editor. So here we are in the old editor, so I'm just going to click done to apply the changes and then I'm going to come back and click on to edit image. Now you should see shadows under recently used. If you don't see that there, then what you need to do is actually scroll down and you'll see some different sections and you can see one here which says shadows. So what you're going to want to do, again if you don't see this, also try scrolling down a bit further and it will be under this section which says you may also like. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm actually going to take the background out of this just so you can see that the shadow, how, how effective it does work. So it's just going to take a minute or two just to run through and remove the background from this image. So here we go. We've now got our person with the background removed. So now I'm going to add a shadow. So what I'm going to do is click on to edit image and then I'm going to click on to shadows here. So there's a few different things you can do. So you've got like a glow sort of shadow which if I click that, you can see it adds this sort of glow around the image. Uh, you can also do like a drop shadow again by clicking the appropriate button and that's going to add to the appropriate shadow. Um, so there's a couple of things you can do. You've got like page lift, curved. And what you can do once you select it, you can actually click onto it again and you can change this even further. So you can change like the offset, the curve, the blur, the color and so on and so forth. So that's how you do it and I hope this video helped you out today. If it did help you out, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like on the video and did consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.